to another coffee chat welcome with, <laughs> with T and A and this week we're going to talk about something that what I have hair in my oh my god there was a piece of mine too okay anyway this <laughs> week we're going to talk about supporting cast members and how sometimes they are literally the best just like the boat you know that little boat that like tows the huge ship the tugboat the tugboat they're the tugboat of the show and we're gonna talk about tugboats. Claiming it right now, we're calling you guys tugboats. And it's like they, they're so great, they deserve their own spin-off and their own shows and their own movies practically. They do. Or I want more, I wanna know more about them. I'm like, I don't care about this main cast. Who's this guy or who's that girl? Like, like you love the what's supporting What's their story? You go to the, you're, watching, you're watching these shows for the supporting characters more than anyone else. I'm gonna say number one, Will and Grace. Who watches it for Will and Grace? Maybe some of you. Who watches it for Jack and Karen? Well, wait, didn't you hear Frasier and Friends are going off the air, too? <laughs> Don't tell me that, Jackie! Not now! Not today! <laughs> the world. One of my bigger ones would be um, Jimmy from Pulp Fiction. Knock it off, Julie. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. So obviously this guy is an ex-gangster and obviously he got out of the wife and like, or I mean got out of the life and he has this like new wife and there's all this like, there's all this like back and he's like, don't fucking jimmy me, man. He's like, and then I love the line where he was like, his wife comes home after a long day of hard work and she just sees a bunch of gangsters in her kitchen doing a bunch of gangster shit. Likely things aren't gonna go over well. I really wanna know Jimmy's backstory. I wanna yeah. know his whole story. He's the character in Pulp Fiction that I'm always like, who are you? I wanna know so much more about him. Like True Blood, Pam. Suki, I'm so over Suki and her precious fairy vagina and her unbelievably stupid name. Fuck Suki! Oh, Pam for sure. I don't really care. Pam and Lafayette. I could do a Pam oh, and Lafayette show. Yes. Like, I, I don't care about Sookie. I don't care about Bill. I don't care about Eric. I want sassy Sorry. Pam every day of the week. Like, what is she doing? What clothes is she wearing? Who is she sassing? And then like, Lafayette's just, like, amazing. I love the scene where they are the they two come. tugboats for they sure. Are. Yep. One fine ass motherfucker with pretty new eyelashes. Lafayette, seriously, they're yeah, and they like, carried that show. When well, and all like the violence and sex, but also the two of those, those two Lafayette. characters are amazing. Oh, I, I would say okay, Supernatural fans out there, I think one of the most interesting characters in Supernatural is the trickster. You're not Doctor Sexy. You're crazy. Really? Because I swore part of what makes Dr. Sexy sexy is the fact that he wears cowboy boots, not tennis shoes. Yeah, you're not a fan. It's a guilty pleasure. Call security. Yeah, go ahead, pal. See, we know what you are. You guys are getting better. I love every single episode he's in. Those are my favorite episodes. They're amazing. And so I think it'd be so cool to have... Like, Same where Steve's clothes. No, wait, we gotta practice that. Oh, my! <laughs> uh, you think you're really, really smart, but you're not. <laughs> Sometimes I walk around and I just go, pick it up, folk. <laughs> I know, that's a line that pops in my head a lot. I'm like on a really like, deep Grey's Anatomy-like thing right now, so all the characters are gonna play together, and I'm really, like, I don't know how to... But like, Allison got her own show. Yeah, oh, that's true. She was cool. I don't. I think they do such a good job of, like, Meredith may narrate it, but you've gotten to the episodes where they have other people narrate yeah, it. Honestly, I love so Bailey. No, I want more yeah. Bailey. I want more Bailey. I want more Bailey. I don't want. She else. she gets like great episode arcs. She does. I don't. But I, I don't. Want more I think her. they do a really good job of like equal. They time. do. I just Kevin Michael would disagree, but <laughs> she's not on the show anymore. Sassy bitch. 
<laughs> like, poor Catherine Heigl, though. I mean, like, whatever. not poor Catherine Heigl, but, like, poor Catherine Heigl. If everybody has and a no. problem with you, it's you. It's not them. But what if she was going through something, like, really horrible? You never know. For, like, years? years? Maybe. Like, Seth Rogen doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, Jedi Seth Rogen and Jedi Avatar don't want to fuck with you. I'm like, I'm like okay. So Shonda so. Rhimes could own ABC, and she doesn't want to talk to you. You're a bitch. <laughs> Say, ooh, you know who I would want like more, just more airtime on, like even more than there already is, is just Schmidt on New Girl. I love Schmidt so much. I just want, I it should be the Schmidt, it should be New Guy. No. Use my conditioner. What? No. No, I can tell, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Lotus Berry, relax. Lotus Berry, relax. I can smell it on you right now. It's fine. Stop smelling my hair. You know how much that stuff costs? Okay, hey, Schmidt, I didn't use your conditioner. Why does your hair look so baby soft? It's fine, Schmidt. Put the Schmidt on your face. Okay. It's it's should, oh my god, that was good. I just, it took me a second. It should just be the new guy. Don't get me wrong. Schmidt. Or Nick Miller. Nick, but I don't know. Schmidt is, I, he's so great. I love it. He is really great. Nick Miller is great, but he, him and Jess are great. Like him and, you know, so I'm, I, was, I love Schmidt. Who, uh, what else? What else? What other shows do we watch? We watch so many shows. I know, we watch so many shows. You know what I would want in How to Get Away with Murder? What was her name? Annalise's little, like, lover chick. Oh. I want to know more about, like, her. I want to know what she does in her law office. <laughs> You're right. I don't want to know. <sighs> You're happy. I'm happy. I didn't say I was happy. Stressed out, pissed off, lonely, sure, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You just got promoted to partner at Saatchi, and you're helping your friend celebrate? I got partner a long time ago, and my friend here is actually my girlfriend. <laughs> I just want Wes to be alive at the moment. <laughs> I'm Spoiler really alert. I'm really bummed about Wes. I'm Spoiler never, Well, don't Okay, all right, that's different. You're, there's different if you're spoiling something. If they're on season 14 and you say something from season 7, like, you're just a bad fan. But that was last season. So that's, a, that's still a spoiler. Like, what if somebody's just waiting on Netflix? Here they are, they're a TNA fan, they don't have cable, and the internet is their life. And they've just been waiting for How to Get Away with Murder to be on Netflix, and you just killed it. Now they're crying, they're sitting in the corner, they're writing hate mail. <laughs> Sorry I ruined How to Get Away with Murder for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, okay, once so time. Once Upon a Time's Ooh, tug road is literally the evil queen, for sure. Can you conquer these bottles? I thought they were twist offs. Do I look like I can pry them off with my teeth? A queen and a bit more refined. Like, okay, you have Snow White and Prince Charming and blah, blah, blah. Like, Emma Swan's supposed to be, like, the person that, like, brings them into, like, the whole, like, once upon a time. But the evil queen runs that shit. She is definitely the tug, though. I would, I would say Rumpelstiltskin and the evil queen, Gold and Regina, keep that show going. What about The Walking Dead? Ooh. Who's someone that you want to know more about? Yeah, yeah okay, so you her. don't watch Fear the Walking Dead. But I need to know more about Stran. He, I think he's gonna be like one of your favorite characters in Fear the Walking Dead when you start it. Well, number one, he's got a great voice. Why'd we come here if we're not staying? The only way to survive a mad world is to embrace the madness. He has an amazing voice and he has such a unique and eloquent, eloquent, irony, eloquent way of speaking. <laughs> irony. I, Strand for sure. I want to know more. I think I think Strand and the mom, the mom, <laughs> could uh, do carry the show, and the mom is like the main person. But I just I would let's do Strand for sure, 100. percent Well, I want to coin that phrase right now. Tugboat. 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 There's a paper in a boat. Hello. <laughs> Tugboat, you are a supporting player. What if it exists? But I'm gonna say Tugboat. It's like a supporting cast member who literally keeps they, the show they afloat. Pull, they pull the whole show. Yeah. They, they get that ship a going. Um, Tell us some of the Tugboats that you have. Like what shows are you just like, I could give two shits about the main cast member. I want this yeah. person. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little bell button so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. But if you don't want to, like, all right.